Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The two-year road plan that passed the House yesterday in Frankfurt authorizes over $2.4 billion in projects statewide. And while paving and other highway projects made the list, the majority of projects in eastern Kentucky are centered around failing bridges. And we have a lot of bridges in our district, both county and state funded, that we are going to be looking at replacing and or rehabbing. Road safety is at the top of the list for House Bill 202, which details the two-year road plan, and nearly $1 billion is set aside for bridge work. And Holbrook says there are several bridge projects in Highway District 12, seven-county area. In putting the plan together, we worked not only with our central office staff, but our local judges, our local mayors, and just the general public, as they would call in and talk to us about their bridges, problems that they're having out there. So we worked the best that we could and made our list and submitted it to Frankfurt. And we got the majority of what we asked for, for state and county bridges. Holbrook says now they are just waiting on the measure to eventually be signed by Governor Bevan. After that happens, she said things will start moving quickly. We hope to get started on looking at whether they need to be replaced, do they just need to be rehabbed. You might see surveyors out there. You may have right-of-way agents coming to your door or utility people. But we hope to be looking at all of our bridges so that we can, most importantly, improve them. House Bill 202 now moves to the Senate for consideration. In Pikeville, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.